Listo, ahí está, ¿no? Sí. Ok, there we are. So thank you very much. Good afternoon to everyone. And I am enjoying this meeting, even though it is an online meeting. So now let us start introducing the winners of the IPv6 challenge, the ninth edition. There was a call. This was then sent out. It is available in their website. We invite the community, the LACNIC community, to participate in this initiative, which is of the technical community. This is like a competition. This has been a challenge that may, many have taken up, and this has been the perfect excuse so that you can deploy or advance in the deployment that you had, maybe just announcing the blocks, but you were not using it, the IPv6 block in your organization. So this has been a motivator and the perfect excuse to continue advancing in the deployment and use of IPv6. There is also a section on frequently asked questions. For example, if you have participated in the past, can you participate again? Or if organizations outside the region can participate? No, but if you are a member, yes. If you don't have IPv6, can you also participate? The answer is yes. And what about the knowledge? If you don't have such advanced knowledge, the answer is yes. But in this challenge, there are organizations that already have had an initial deployment, other have just have had any had any at all, but you can nevertheless participate. If you have IPv6, you can also participate. You can deploy deploy even further services and applications. And then, if someone has 100 IPv6 in the network, if they could also participate, but well, you have to demonstrate that you're offering new services and applications. And then the question is, how do you select this? Well, there is an evaluation committee. This is the image and the screen on the screen. So we meet these other five members of the team. At, after the previous meeting, we get together in the last two editions, we have had to adapt because of the conditions we have as a result of the lockdown and the pandemic. So I'd like to thank once again the members of the committee, namely Alejandro, Carmen, Jorge Villa, Nicolas Antonello, and myself. And we then get together and discuss and have adapted the conditions in order to progress despite the pandemic. So. This is a ninth edition, this committee, which is a mailing list. We've, we, we participate through the mailing list. We have meeting and we organize a website that, with those who have registered in 2021. 27 registered from different organizations, from nine countries, from different ISPs, universities, even students registered from some of these organizations, as well as government entities for one month the registration took place and over the period of three months they had the opportunities to bring together the, the requirements to comply with the expected conditions to advance reports have to be presented and the verification test and feedback takes place afterwards so the results are sent to the participating entities some already had IPv6 in operations, some in their portals, some in connectivity, internal or external. In other cases, this was just the initial deployment. They had asked for the block in previous years, and now they had the opportunity to deploy it. So the progress has to be in the recent months. And from those who registered, five entities sent an initial advance report, a progress report. And then finally, when we asked for the second report, four submitted the second report, and only one organization set the second version, which in fact was like a first report of activities. So following a lengthy discussion and voting, we finished the two finalists. And in this occasion, we have decided to include a mention for the a job that was well uh, done. It was one of the finalists. So 
we are going to now announce the winners. We're also going to have the presentation of the winner who came in first so that we can listen to the experience. So congratulations to those who I'm going to mention now. Honorary mention, this is to the Redes and Asesorías del Mayab. This is a Mexican organization. They presented two reports, so a big round of applause for this entity, RAM from Mexico. The second place is Top Communications from Venezuela. This is because of how they demonstrated of what they have done over this period and also for what they will be able to do so in the future. And the winner of this challenge, this IPv6 challenge, is the State University of Campinas from Brazil. So a big round of applause for this university. And now we'll have a couple of minutes so that they can share with us the experience, the difficulties, and what they managed to achieve. This will be done by Henry Alvarez de Godoy. So I give the floor to him. Thank you, Asael. I will be speaking in Portuguese. Let's go ahead. I'm going to share my screen. I'm sharing my screen. Can you see my screen? Thank you, Asael. Thank you very much. We are very happy with the participation in the IPv6 challenge. And I really like to thank the entire LACNIC team and all the members who participated in the challenge committee. And every year they have organized this event. So really this is an important challenge for, in order to make the people can progress in the implementation of IPv6 in their networks. We also thank for all the training that we received from the LACNIC campus and all the IPv6 courses, governance on IPv6 in mass networks and all the webinars that we had and the opportunities that we had and all the training that we were offered at NECVR and the support of NEC Mexico. Uh, with the JOWL tools. We also want to thank the uh, Unicamp Computing Center, CCUEC, all the, uh, all of the teams uh, and uh, the uh, ICT professionals. Today we have about 90 units distributed uh, across uh, the uh, universities, institutes, uh, research centers, uh, hospitals, and uh, uh, administrative uh, bodies. This is a, a work that involved the entire team, so I thank them for all their assistance and uh, especially drafting the uh, document. And I want to thank everybody involved uh, directly or indirectly. So let me tell you in a nutshell, we believe that uh, the configuration of the BGP in IPv6 with RNP and ANSP and with uh, the route servers uh, of IXVR, and we configured a number of services such as DNS, NTP, web, SSH, RDP, that increased quite a lot with the pandemic, uh, the access to remote, uh, um, the, and uh, the data banks, uh, firewalls, and Active Directory. We, with the Wi-Fi networks, we, uh, we, we were capable of delivering our 900 APs in all the units. We gave them a dual stack with uh, the project uh, UDRAM and with a uh, 464XLAT uh, a wireless. We moved forward with uh, the IPv6 implementation with uh, uh, GPON and with uh, 
via IP uh, telephone with uh, IPv6 only, and initially with 10 units. At, what, uh, at present, we have about uh, 8,000 um, derivations, and uh, we also uh, have the need for uh, IPv6 for each unit. We still have challenges. There are still things to overcome including, for instance, we need to take IPv6 uh, to our private uh, cloud, uh, Unicamp, we have CloudStack. We still have to do a hard work migrating with the legacy systems, replacing some uh, routers with uh, uh, limitations in uh, the routing tables V4 and V6 uh, and uh, the memory and uh, to expand uh, the adoption of IPv6 uh, in uh, the telephone via IOP and expanding the Wi-Fi network for uh, 64X LAT. And finally, on the uh, IPv6 challenge uh, that LACNIC uh, provided, we uh, encourage you all to participate. Please participate every year because the challenge is a great opportunity to get to know and document all the projects that we have in IPv6. Sometimes we don't even notice that they exist and there's no time for the documenting that. We always leave it for the end. So this is an excellent time to put everything together in a single document, everything that we've done. And it's also an excellent opportunity for everybody to uh, move forward in implementation of IPv6 in the networks and to learn more and more, and especially to contribute for the development and the progress of the internet at the global level. Good. Thank you, Henry. Let me just conclude with the last uh, slide. So thank you. Thank you, Henry, and thank you all, all those uh, involved in this ninth edition of the challenge, and we also invite you for a 10th meeting of this, uh, uh, an 10th uh, edition of this uh, challenge. This is our uh, address. You can make comments, and, and well, we've always tried to improve things and to uh, make uh, the uh, participation of technique more robust. I thank you all for participating. So this would be all. I don't know whether there are any comments or questions. Well, thank you, Asael, Henry. I want to congratulate the winners of the IPv6 challenge. And we encourage you to ask questions if you have any doubts about the uh, next edition. So now you have some a few seconds to express your doubts in the Q&A. Doubts or questions? Yes, so far there are no questions as I am, only a lot of congratulations and uh, complimentary comments. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, as I am.